Alright, so a lot of people are telling me that they have trouble jungling Rengar, so they wanted a little guide. So here I'm going to give it to you guys. First of all, you want to start off with 5 health pots and claw farmer, because it's the safest way to jungle on any jungler. The bonus armor makes you take less damage, and the health pots give you more survivability. Alright, so let's talk about the spell that you want to start off with. Your Q has a way shorter cooldown, like two thirds shorter of the cooldown of your W. And people are saying that you want to start off with your W so you could get your heal. No, that is wrong. You want to start off with your Q because your Q has a shorter cooldown. And then that way you'll be able to get 5 Fury stacks off your Q before you can get 5 Fury stocks off your W. What I mean by this is that if you start off your W, you'll get level 2 plus your Q before you even get 5 Fury stacks. If you start off with your Q, you'll be able to get 5 Fury stacks before you get level 2. So what I mean by this is that you're going to get way more way more damage from your Q and you're not going to get the heal from your W if you start off W. I hope that makes sense. I don't know how to describe it, but I hope you guys understood it. I'm just saying that starting Q is way better and people who are saying starting W, I probably never played Rengar. You want to start race and then you want to go to red and then from there you can either do a gank and mid or just keep or bot depending on, or top depending on where you are in the map if you're blue side you want to do a gang on either top i mean either on mid or bot and if you're purple side you want to do a gang either on mid or top all right guys so on this video i'm not going to be doing a gank because we're playing against bots and like it wouldn't be fair so i'm showing the jungling route that you usually do when you start red and most of the times it's even better to not even start what's it called to start ganging right after level two because Rengar doesn't have that much CC and if the enemy isn't near the bush you're probably not even gonna kill him so it'll be a waste of time so here I'm showing the, the most common route when you start when you start red and uh, you and the way to get both buffs while getting level 4 so here I'm gonna be getting top went against Morgana and Morgana got near the bush so I was able to leap with her to her and just finish her off so here I'm gonna have to flash because she's gonna she's gonna use her stun and I already saw it coming because she turned around so I flashed and if I wouldn't have flashed the stun would have hit me and she would have never died. So reaction time once games while jungling when you get five fury stacks you want to use your W to be able to heal the damage you took plus some extra more from that can. Here I'm gonna be ganging mid and I just want to show that the only way you could actually get a gang when you're jungling as Rengar is when they're overextended like right exactly on top of the tower when they're near a bush. The only reason I was, a I was able to get this kill was because it's against a bot and he didn't go back right away. So the only possible way that you'll be able to get a gank is when they're overextended or they're near a bush. So don't waste your time going to lane when they're in the middle. There are unique times when you can do lane ganks even if the enemy is being pushed. That is bot and top because they both have bushes. So the reason why it works is because you can leap to them if they get close. And the other reason it works is because they don't know you're there. A lane gank is when you go straight through the turrets from your from your team and you go all the way through the bush side. You go in the bush where the where the minions can't see you so they won't know you're there unless it's worded. And usually it's not worded at, at, at any heal. And the only reason it will be worded at any elo will be because there's like a blitzcrank or like the Tarek, I mean not the Tarek, the support is playing too aggressive and they want to kind of stop it and so on. Alright, so when you become level 6, your ganks are insane just because of your ultimate. You become stealth and, and they can't see you at all. So, and also you can leap to them when they get inside the circle range. It's awesome because the circle has a short range and if the only way they can see you is that if they enter the circle. And by the time they enter the circle, you can just leap to them and it'll be a good game for them because um, Ren uh, Rengar has a ton of damage, especially burst. This gank will work when they're pushed, when they're overextended, when it doesn't really matter that gank will work anytime other than when they're like full HP and they're on top of their tower. Rengar is also a great pusher. His Q works on towers, so it does extra damage on them, plus he gets the attack speed bonus from his Q. 
Rengar has a lot of damage early game and even late game, so don't be afraid to like take on any enemy. He has a lot of burst and he's very overpowered right now in damage wise, so don't be afraid. So now I want to talk about Rengar's items. Rengar you could utilize from cooldown reduction, attack damage, defensive items, and, uh, and some life. Um, recommended items for me are the boot, bone teeth, bone tooth necklace, regular boots, mark treads, or new tab, trinity force, and then oregos to help you push lanes and attack damage and clear minions faster. And then two other items that give you either life steal, defensive, or cooldown reduction, depending on the enemy team. Alright, so this is my small guide on how to play Rengar jungle. I hope you guys liked it. So leave a comment down below saying if you like this guide or not, if it sucked, if I should take it down, anything at all. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys like this. Like this video, stay subscribed, and there will be a lot more content. So keep on watching.